today we are going to make a mini meatball lamb so soup. So start this recipe, I'm just going to show you the ingredients and I think I have all of them laid out. If I don't, well we'll figure that one out in a minute. We have a pound of uh, ground uh, beef chuck. This is 80-20 lean. And then I have a pound of lamb here. And it was the last package and it was clearance for quick sell for today. So we're only going to use half a pound of lamb and half a pound of the beef, okay? The rest I'm gonna throw into the freezer for something else. Some uh, baby carrots, sweet baby carrots, some uh, peas, baby corn uh, nuggets here, but you can get them uh, the whole baby corn and, and cut it up yourself. These are some yellow uh, potatoes, so those are just the baby ones. They're more expensive, and I just felt like buying them, so I had them in the pantry from before. I'm going to season the meat using this here. Now, I found this today um, at Walmart, and I thought I'd pick it up and give it a try. So, we're going to add this to the meat to give flavor to the meat. also have uh, about a fourth of salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and some pepper. Some chopped onions and uh, two chopped cloves of garlic and two containers of beef broth. So these are our ingredients. And now we're going to go ahead and start with our meat and I'll be okay, right back. Guys. So here I have half a pound of lamb and half a pound of the beef. And to start this off we are going to add our salt, pepper, garlic and other seasonings. And then our package, I'll show it to you one more time, right here. And I tasted it out of the package. It's not bad, actually. So we're just going to add a little bit of this. Well, it says two packets for a pound and a half. And since we only have uh, one pound, I'm just going to use one packet. So that's it for that one. Now, all I'm going to do is go ahead and mix this together real quick. And then after I get it mixed, I'm going to use a small spoon. Just use whatever spoon you have. I don't want these to be big old uh, meatballs. You know, this isn't spaghetti. So we just want spoon-sized uh, meatballs. So they're going to be relatively small. And I mean like really small. So you just mix it together to your liking. And then take about a teaspoonful and roll them and put them on a plate. So I'll bring you right back as soon as I get them all done. All right guys, so here are our miniature little meatballs and we have the potatoes that you saw that I just chunked up. Uh, the carrots, some of the thicker ones I went ahead and cut in half so they'll cook a little bit more even. Um, my garlic, my onion, and the chopper. And then I have one tablespoon of olive oil over medium heat. I'm not going to brown the onions and the garlic. I'm just looking to soften them up a little bit. That's really all I want to do. So I'm just going to put this in, stir it around for maybe about four or five minutes, and then we'll move on. So it's been about five minutes. It's starting to try to get brown, so I'm going to go ahead and add the the uh, beef broth to it and I'm going to add the other carton of beef broth and then we're going to add all of our veggies so we'll be right back. Alright guys so here I've added the beef broth to the onion and the garlic and now we are going to put in our potatoes and our carrots and of course if, you know you probably already know but you should start your uh, potatoes out in cold water not in hot water because if you do start it out in hot water um, they become very starchy so we're going to go ahead and turn the heat up and let this come to a simmer and cook it just until the potatoes and the carrots are softening and then we're going to add our meat to the pot should take about eh, 20 maybe 25 minutes All right, guys, we'll be right so back. here is our potatoes and carrots in our broth and I did cook them until they are tender. You can use a fork or a spoon or whatever to uh, cut into it. So now I'm just going to drop all the little mini meatballs in here and let those start to cook and we'll let these go for about five minutes and then we're going to add the other veggies. 
our baby corn and our peas. Then we're going to give this about 15 minutes and this will be done. And I'll bring you back when that happens and we'll serve some. Alright guys, so here is our finished soup. Doesn't that just look like the best thing ever? And uh, by not stirring, you know, just bottom to top, the, the meatballs firm up and that way they don't fall apart. So, I hope you guys give this recipe a try because I'm sure looking forward to eating this. And with that, guys, live, love, and eat. We'll see you in the next video.